Hi, Jess Garrett here and welcome to Surfing Australia TV. Now, we're all about bringing the sport of surfing to life and showcasing what Surfing Australia is all about. On today's show, we head to the 2011 Action Sports Ready Australian Junior Titles. We drop into the VB Board Riders Club of the Year, plus we have heaps more. But first up, we head to Bondi, where four times world surfing champion Steph Gilmore teams up with Nikon. as a brand ambassador for Nikon has to be one of the greatest opportunities for my entire career and to be teamed up alongside the likes of Jamie Oliver um, and everyone else that's in the campaign is extremely special for me and something that I mean these are personalities that I look up to and, and personalities that I think are global sensations in what they do. Taking it to the next level with Stephanie obviously is really about bringing it and making it really Australian. Uh, so surfing being such a big part of Australian culture, having Stephanie involved with the campaign is such a really cool little camera. People are going to see this on TV, they're going to see it on outdoor, they're going to see it in print ads and in store, so it's going to be an amazing campaign and uh, yeah, we're really excited about it. Yeah, travelling the world, taking photos of these places just to remember them is um, something that I love doing and of course the people that I'm with, whether it be just my friends or um, other surfers that I travel with, uh, I love to take portraits of them as well. Stephanie is just such a great ambassador for our sport, for surfing, and she'll be a fantastic ambassador for Nikon and this whole partnership with Surfing Australia. You know, surfing has just got such a strong affinity with photography. The Nikon Surf Movie of the Year and the Nikon Surf Photo of the Year, it's just amazing credibility to, to bring such a global brand like Nikon to, uh, to partner with these particular awards. You know, Nikon is the naming rights sponsor and, and providing such a great prize to that category, I think it'll really, you know, really solidify an, an incredibly prestigious award as part of the Australian Surfing Awards. We felt that um, developing this partnership with Surfing Australia and having Stephanie Gilmore as a brand ambassador is really important in launching our new cool picks, tough camera, the AW100, but also just having a really good cultural connection with, uh, with surfing in Australia. The cool picks camera, the AW100, uh, is the new all-action camera. It's basically shock-proof, waterproof and freeze-proof. So you can take it in the surf, you can take it in the snow, um, you can take it to your favourite music festival and drop it in the esky, you can lose it in the mosh pit and it's going to be okay when you find it again. It has all the best features that I need for my lifestyle. I don't think I'll ever be a professional photographer, but I just think that it's a, a passion of mine and I'm not sure where it will end up in the end, but we'll wait and see. Now that I've got a great camera, you never know what might happen. Does your cutback need work? Do you want to learn how to do aerials? Or do you just feel you could surf a whole lot better? Take your surfing to the next level with help from www.surfcoach.com. Surfcoach.com is an interactive website to help improve your surfing. The site isn't just for competition surfers, but any surfer who just wants to do a better turn, learn a new move, or simply be more confident whenever they enter the ocean. Visit www.surfcoach.com now to find that edge you've been looking for. Surfing Australia pride themselves on innovation in all of their programs and the state-of-the-art Hurley Surfing Australia High Performance Centre, due for completion in 2012, is set to be the world standard when it comes to surf-specific training. I'll let Wayne Rabbit Bartholomew tell you more.
You know, when I first uh, heard word of this circulating uh, around Hurley that um, they were going to get involved and partner up with Surfing Australia in the, in the High Performance Centre, you know, I thought it, I was really initially excited about it. I thought this is a perfect fit. If there was three things that really underpin the Hurley philosophy and what the company and the brand is all about, it's innovation, it's high performance, and it's youth development, you know, being a microphone for youth. And so it's a very much a perfect fit in all those areas. Ultimately, Hurley's direction in terms of their true performance and true innovation is very fitting with Surfing Australia. It's exactly the same as where, you know, the direction we're taking. Um, the new High Performance Centre is all about innovation. It's all about true performance. It's all about creating world champions. So the link and the partnership is just so strong. Hurley's very excited about this partnership, you know, to form a partnership with uh, Surfing Australia uh, in the world's first uh, specifically designed High Performance Centre for athletes and for surfing, for surfing specific athletes is amazing for us to be able to be part of this movement. We're always about innovation. So to do something innovative, working with Surfing Australia, that's going to be great for not only Hurley, great for Surfing Australia, and also great for the athletes uh, themselves. So we, uh, you know, we're hope we're just a part of helping build future world champions uh, here in Australia. It's a perfect time for it to come in now. All over the world, there's kids from Brazil, from from America. They don't have access to something like this, and I believe that the kids are so lucky here in Australia to to actually have access to something like this. Being on tour every year, you know, you, you see the level of surfing going up every year and it's not just from the Australian surfers, you know, it's coming from Brazil and from Europe and uh, Tahiti, obviously America, from, from all the countries. And I think by Hurley and Surfing Australia kind of banding together and, you know, putting some money into this high performance center, it's really gonna give the Australian kids a push and it's going to hopefully keep us at the forefront of surfing, which is, is where we've been for a long time and where we want to stay. And, um, you know, I'm definitely really stoked that they've done that and really happy to be a part of it. It's a world first. You know, what Hurley's doing with Surfing Australia, it's a world first. It hasn't been done before. Um, to, obviously, it's been done in other sports, but it's never done specific for surfing. So I think it's a great thing for Hurley. It's a great thing for Surfing Australia. And it's a great thing for um, Australia in itself as being the first country to really provide something like this for its uh, athletes so obviously at the end goal is to create world champions. The new High Performance Centre will have a gymnasium importantly to cater for the surfers, we'll have uh, office facilities for our staff, we'll have a boardroom, we'll have treatment areas, we'll have an auditorium, um, it'll have uh, accommodation to sleep 22 for our national training camps and the centre will have all the key elements to ensure the, the best possible training environment for our athletes. Travelling throughout the year it's you know you're busy and things like that um, Coming home usually is, uh, you know, you get a bit of downtime at home, but it's going to be great having the High Performance Centre because in that downtime I can always prepare myself for upcoming events and, you know, living on the Gold Coast and growing up on the Gold Coast, it's, it's great to have it here as well on the Gold Coast and it's close for me and, and I really want to work hard towards trying to qualify next year and things like that and I believe that this is probably going to be a, a really large help for me. Um, you know, competing and trying to get on that elite level. You know, it's fair to say that the rest of the world are catching up um, in surfing and, and what this new centre allows us to do is create a cutting edge facility that Australian surfers will have a clear competitive advantage. The ability to bring on a brand like Hurley and partner with us and be able to really improve the facility and, and invest in the facility to make it even better than we first imagined uh, is just a fantastic opportunity and we're really excited about the partnership. You know, Australians have a long history of um, being involved in the sport of surfing and created many world champions in the past and we want that to con continue. Uh, and Hurley wants to be a part of helping supporting that with Surfing Australia. But getting back to you know the benefits for Australian surfers, it, it, it's you know you couldn't put a price on it. It's it's just an amazing opportunity for you know kids who aren't quite even on radar yet. You know just just beyond the horizon that will be the absolute direct beneficiaries of this.
Surf Life Saving has nippers, AFL has Auskick, and now surfing has its own equivalent, the Surfing Australia Vegemite Surf Groms. It's all about getting kids of all ages, abilities, levels, out there having fun on the waves while learning valuable ocean awareness. And Surfing Australia TV was there on the very first day of school. This is just a super important program. You know, these days, starting kids off at five years of age, you know, just not only just having fun and learning how to surf, but just rips, can't surf safety, surf awareness, you know, and just getting totally you know, involved in the surfing lifestyle from such a young age. They love it. Being out in the water, which kid wouldn't? We live on the Gold Coast, Queensland, where it's surrounded by beaches. So for them, learning parts of the water, the rips, everything. I think it's very important. We've uh, put a lot of effort into building the program and, and uh, now finally to have it on the beach and have you know hundreds of kids all around Australia getting involved in Vegemite surf problems today, it's fantastic. Living anywhere near the beach like 80% of the population in Australia does, it's really important. Just uh, good to, for the kids to come down and get the fundamentals of surfing and have a few beach games while we're at it. Um, teach them a few water safety skills, surf rescue skills. It's uh, a real benefit for the kids. We've got 2,000 signed up. That's all around Australia in, in over 65 delivery centres. And we're aiming for 10,000 this summer. And uh, if we can get that, we'll be very happy. Uh, we already, we're, we're well on track towards achieving that target. Well, as you can see behind us, they're absolutely loving it. They're getting into it, they're standing up. The young groms and mini groms are playing in the beach in the sand, doing the sandcastle things. Uh, they're having a really good time. The kids just love it right from the word go. The website, they register online, they get their packs pretty much straight away. Backpacks, hats, caps, they love the rashies. Uh, you can go to the website and still register and uh, there's great, you know, great website there for not only parents but also the kids. There's a lot of you know, really interactive things out online for the kids. So uh, it's uh, definitely more available and, and encourage parents to get their kids involved this summer. And they just know they're going surfing, not just once, but they're actually going to go through a whole program. They meet other kids, they just have a ball down there, you know, out in the, out in the waves, surfing. And, you know, and as they go through it, they're all catching waves, standing up, you know, and just having an absolute ball on the beach and in the waves. Love it. Which kid wouldn't like Vegemite? We're brought up on Vegemite. Um, all my kids eat it every day, every morning. It's the only spread, so I think it's your perfect sponsor for this uh, surfing program. Welcome to Coastal Watch Plus. Coastal Watch Plus is the new full featured extension of Australia's premier coastal resource site, coastalwatch.com. Whether you're a grommet checking your local surf cam or a hardcore big wave slab hunter, we've been keeping you informed for over a decade. Now we're stepping it up. Coastal Watch Plus provides state of the art surf forecasting tools, a hundred newly upgraded high res cameras enabling real time vision of the prime locations, and detailed reports to ensure you're in the water when it counts. Plus, exclusive videos, photos, and news to keep you stoked through flat spells. You already know Coastal Watch as Australia's best coastal resource site. Now it's just gotten a whole lot better. Surfing Australia and Coastal Watch have joined forces to create Camp Coastal Watch. Now, Camp Coastal Watch is a free three-day training camp designed for surfers who haven't yet achieved competition success. Take a look. Camp Coastal Watch is fully funded by Coastal Watch and basically they're sponsoring 16 kids to three camps in 2011. We had over 300 applications for Camp Coastal Watch in 2011 and we ran three camps. There were 16 kids selected for each of the camps. Each of them were funded by Coastal Watch for their accommodation, their food and also the three-day coaching program. 
Basically the kids go online and fill out an application form and what we're trying to get is kids that are motivated to, uh, to get competition results in the future but haven't had the competition results in the past. So we're looking for a kid that hasn't made a quarter final or better at a national level competition. At the same time, is looking to get into that quarter final. So they come here with the motivation to uh, to, to learn the skills necessary. Um, in the in the September Camp Coaster Watch, the third Camp Coaster Watch, Joshua Fuller came in, and it was great for the kids to do work with Josh because he actually gets a lot of exposure on Coaster Watch for his uh, charging big ways. My name's Josh Fuller, I'm 31 and I'm from Cabarita. I, I just love surfing, so to, to teach people to surf better and see them improve is, it's an infectious high, you know, you, you see them really stoked and, and you get stoked at, about it too and, and I'm still learning too, you know, I'm still passionate about improving my own surfing, so I, as well as helping other people, it's, it's helping me become a better surfer too, which is um, pretty cool to call that a job. I use Coaster Watch five times a day. Um, not just to see what the conditions are doing, but it's that immediate access to what's happening now, which, which is you know the age we're in, and uh, that's why surfing as well is is moving forward so fast, is because we don't have to wait weeks for the or months or years for the new surf video to come out. They're out every afternoon on the web. There it is. I usually surf in the mornings before school, so I don't really check it. Then I just go out whatever it's like. But um, when I get home from school, I just like to check Coast Watch to just see how good the waves are, just because it shows you exactly what they're like. The best thing for me on the Coast Watch camp was looking after the grommets and having lots of fun and surfing real hard because the waves have been pumping. It's heaps fun because all the boys are real nice to me and the coaches are nice and it's helped my surfing heat. The funnest thing about it is probably um, meeting new people and um, probably meeting new surfers that you're going to surf against in a lot of other comps that we go to. I've just got into my surfing in the last like two years and this is possibly the best thing I've done for my surfing, definitely. It's ridiculous, I've never been a part of it like something like this before, it's wicked. Whether I'm either down the beach or, or in the coaching room, I've, I find that most of the kids pick it up really quick and you know, the kids and adults, their, their learning abilities are a little bit different so um, when we work with them, I, I try, and, try and give it to them at a level that they'll understand easily and you can see it click, you see in their face and kind of like, oh, okay, I get it. I would have thought it would have just been a basic camp about surfing, but it's far better than what I expected. I thought we were just going surfing, but um, we actually do full analysation of every single wave we caught and a lot of other techniques and methods that we should be using whilst we're surfing. definitely personal satisfaction in, in, um, in seeing some or helping someone achieve something that brings them enjoyment or a, uh, you know, a goal or whatever. It's, there's definitely some personal satisfaction there. Over 200 of Australia's hottest junior surfers hit the beaches of Coffs Harbour to compete in the 2011 Action Sports Ready Australian Junior Titles presented by Soundwave. Now the Aussie titles have a long tradition of breeding Australia's top surfers and this year was no exception. Here's world champ Barton Lynch to tell us more. Hi, I'm Barton Lynch and this is the Action Sports Ready Australian Junior Titles presented by Soundwave. Coming to you day one from Macaulay Beach at Coffs Harbour. The best young junior talent in the country on show. It's going to be a great week. It's going to be a great day. Oh, the Australian Junior Titles is the be all and end all when we were young. It's the most amazing thing you could do in your life, win an Australian title. And it was a stepping stone to where you wanted to be in your career. It's always an honour to compete with your state at any level or any sport. So, especially surfing, it's what I love doing the most. Australian surfing was 
what every other country wanted to be. Now you see all these other countries like America and Brazil and they're coming back and dominating our sport that we ruled for so long. And I think the Australian titles is bringing that back. My name's John Lawrenson. I'm the CEO of Action Sports Ready. And I've been in the surf industry a long time. I competed in the Australian schoolboy titles in Byron Bay when I was 14. Um, Realised I wasn't going to be the next Australian champion pretty quickly. <laughs> I thought Action Sports Ready was a good fit for the Australian junior surfing titles because not everyone's going to be the next Australian champion. So the kids that don't make it, nine times out of ten, they want a job in the surf industry. So this provides a stepping stone for them to understand the products and the sales techniques that are required to get a job at retail. So they can learn the basics online and from the day they start work, day one, They've got some idea and, and a fairly comprehensive knowledge of what they're going to sell, rather than wandering around the store for a month trying to figure out what the hell's going on. So it seemed a natural fit for the Australian Junior Titles. It's a first time. Yeah. There's no way any of those sponsors would have ever got together before, but for the future of Australian surfing, which I think is a great thing. And how we got the brands on board, I went to Billabong, Quicksilver, Hurley. They were already participating in Action Sports Ready and I said, hey, how about we sponsor the Australian Junior Titles as a group? So in partnership, we're looking to support Australian Junior Surfing and the future of Australian surfing industry as a unit. It's sending a good message to the whole industry that we're all in it together, we're all surfers. Matt Hoy down at the Aussie Junior Titles, brought to you by Soundwave with Chris. Mate, tell me a bit about it, getting involved with junior surfing. Uh, it, it came about six months ago, I suppose. We were um, sitting down with Mel, who sort of runs our media department on the festivals, and she sort of just mentioned it to me in passing more than anything else, and I had to think about it, and a bunch of the bands that were on Soundwave 2011 went out surfing one day on their day off. It was about oh, eight bands, like 25 or 26 guys in the surf, and just sort of entered my mind straight away, thinking that correlation between surfing and music, it's always been there. Yeah. But, you know, it's been great for us, and hopefully it's been good for surfing Australia too. Yeah. So how do those rock and rollers surf? I'm a bit of a rock and roll myself, but I can uh, surf. How to surf is rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> I do I it really some, well. Some that are good and some that aren't that good, I reckon. Well, the bands come in at least 48 hours early anyway. Yeah. So some of them come in the week earlier, actually go down to Byron and stuff like that as well. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There you go. Let's rock and roll together. Got another gig for you? Yeah, I love it, mate. <laughs> no worries, mate. Could you involve the Sunreal, mate? mate. Much appreciated. Sound wave. Get to it. Surfing for your state, surfing for your country, it's the best thing. It's not about the money, it's not about the points, it's like winning an Australian title, which means to us, means a lot, and to the grommets today, it should mean a lot too. That's it for 2011, the conclusion of the Action Sports Ready Australian Junior Surfing titles presented by Soundwave. An action-packed week. Coffs Harbour turned on great conditions every day. Jessie Miley Dyer, what was some of the highlights for you? Oh, for me, definitely just how well the girls have been surfing. You know, I loved seeing Eden Putland, a bit of a dark horse, taking it out over Ellie Jean and Nikki, probably the two more fancied opponents. And then I loved seeing the under-16 girls. They're all surfing really well. A lot of composure and Holly Sue almost making it you know, the double for the coffees there was great. And in the men's, we saw Eli Steele and Michael Wright dominate. They were most probably the best surfers all week in those divisions, I think. So in the end, the cream rose to the top. It's been a great week, and we're looking forward to next year already. Surfing Australia and VB have found common ground in backing grassroots surfing in Australia with the VB Board Riders Club of the Year. Now when you're talking core Aussie surfing, you really can't go past this year's winner, Wulgurga Board Riders Club. Here's club president Michael Featherstone, who's a dead set legend, to share some of his club's awesome spirit. Yeah. 
My name's Michael Featherstone. I'm the current president of Wagulga Board Riders, uh, WBC for short. Yeah, Whoopi Board Riders has been going since 1974 on and off. It's had a couple of different club names, but it's gone back to WBC. Uh, this year we've only got about 80 members, uh, but those 80 members are full on into it. Winning the VB Club of the Year is absolutely awesome. We're such a small club approximately 80 members, real grassroots. The club is just over the moon. Uh, we're stoked to have VB on board. They've really helped us out. <music> to be crowned club of the year is only just spot on. It's the icing on the cake for Whoopi. Due to our local club, uh, we've only had local sponsorship from the small town of Wagorga. Real community and um, orientated type club. Uh, we've got the local butcher to the baker to the gas, the local pub, we've got everyone on board. We're not a big club, but whatever they put in, we put back into the community. It's great having a cold VB after the end of the day, and I just see me mate walking in Keep coming, We're, we've run out on the day, so we just go and get another card and sensational. Andrew, one of the club committee dudes, Hello. awesome, it's great. Uh, we built the club this year around the criteria, we had something to strive for, we've done our community bit, uh, and that vibe and the atmosphere within the club's been great, so raise a glass to VB. Mate, they sponsor us and we're a real club, you know, and have an Aussie backing like VB, a big company like that, like we're just a small little town, small little club, but we've kicked goals and we just hang for our comps once a month. And to live here on the mid-north coast is just absolutely sensational. But don't tell too many people, because we don't want it crowded. Having all the support by our local sponsors and now a major sponsor like VB and being Club of the Year is just absolutely awesome. You. Well, thanks for tuning in today. We are all out of time, but if you want details or info on anything you've seen, just head to our website, surfingaustralia.com, and we'll see you next time for more Surfing Australia TV. See ya.